So um, this is a whole class demonstration tool for uh, telling the time. Uh, so what we've got is we've got uh, these little pointers here uh, for going forwards in time and these ones for going backwards. Uh, let's have a look. So um, I can do, let's go forwards by a whole hour. So here we go, it's about five past one. Let's go forwards another hour. There we go. Uh, let's just get it to quarter past. Uh, let's say, uh, let's just do the, qu uh, the quarters of an hour. So here's quarter past two, half past two, a quarter to three, three o'clock. Uh, you can also view uh, the minutes past numbers, or you can view uh, the minutes past and the minutes to numbers. Uh, one thing I found really useful is, uh, if I just turn that off, one thing I found really useful is uh, if I'm just trying to isolate one hand with the children, I can just show them I can just see where one hand is, right? Um, I forgot where we were actually. Right, so it was three o'clock. No, it was, let's say it's four o'clock. Um, if I pass a whole 60 minutes later, the minute hand will go all the way back to where it was before, but where's the hour hand? Uh, then uh, we can also show the digital clock. So here's five o'clock. I can hide those, clicking on those. So here we go, I'm going to set it to, so we're on a quarter past five now. Uh, so children, uh, can you show me on your dry white boards what the digital clock will look like for quarter past five? And you can see the red hand is uh, the five hours. We're going past five. Um, and the blue hand, the blue numbers, is for the minute. Uh, you can also, i just get rid of the digital in a minute, you can see Roman numerals for early key stage two. Uh, and that's it. So um, very handy uh, demonstration tool. So. Um, uh, you're not filling with a little clock in your hand. Have fun.